Creating 3D printed products generates a lot of hazardous waste, and as you scale your operation, you expose yourself to massive fines and penalties for improper disposal. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to deal with it. Hey there, Derek from 3DP to here, this time to review the Aerosol Spray Can Disposal System. We generate 10 to 30 empty cans of spray paint per month in creating our Faces of History line of products, and as the line has gotten more traction, scaling up has created a problem for us. What do we do with all these empty spray cans? The EPA, as well as the Department of Toxic Substances Control, have jurisdiction here in California. Their regulations are pretty straightforward, but they're also very clear that improper disposal will expose a business to fines up to $70,000 per day. A company called Just Right has come up with a system to dispose of aerosol cans at scale and comply with EPA and DTSC regulations. The premise is simple. Punch a hole, trap and filter the gases and waste liquid paint, and then sell the cans to the local recycling outfit as scrap. Piece of cake. The aerosol system can be purchased directly off of their website and runs about $993. The 55 gallon drum is harder to source, however, as steel comes at a premium at the time of creation of this video. We tried sourcing one from Granger only to have it back ordered after three months of waiting in line. Not cool. Luckily, Uline.com has them in stock and available with a one day turnaround. You'll pay a higher price at $120 per barrel, but at least it can be got. All in, you're looking at $1,113 to secure all of the needed gear. Just make sure you slap a hazardous waste sticker on the side once it's all set up. The system itself is very easy to use and unboxing assembly went down with no hiccups. Simply screw on the filter tower and the punching mechanism and then ground the body to the nearest earth ground point to prevent static buildup. We had to change out the gasket per Just Right's instructions as we use mostly Kryolon and Rust-Oleum paints. Place the can in nozzle side down. Secure the lock up on top and push the lever. The filter absorbs the gases, and the can of paint can now be recycled as scrap metal. It takes about 20 seconds to punch and drain each can, so our backlog of 50 cans will take about 20 minutes to process. If we punch as we go, I can't imagine this new process will add much time at all to our painting workflow. So there you have it, a method to properly dispose of the hazardous waste generated when creating 3D printed products. Although the system runs over $1,000, it can be treated as a depreciable asset on taxes and as a regulatory compliance write-off. When properly handled, the cans can be recycled as scrap and you can turn a compliance risk into a new revenue stream. If you're interested in 3D printing or building your own 3D printer farm, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new content. Thanks for watching.